Alright guys, welcome back to the Automail Fabrication Films YouTube channel. Today we're working on a trailer that is made out of a boat trailer and a flatbed from an old flatbed truck. And we're putting them together to make the perfect trailer for what we need for the shop. Fenders off this thing. Well, maybe. Mm. All right. Yep, we're gonna get the fenders off so we can get that bed as low as possible. I don't really know where to put you guys. Ooh. Since we're planning on trying to put cars on here, we're gonna measure how long the trailer needs to be. So I'm working on this boat trailer that we're turning into a utility trailer. And uh, last time you saw, those rails were still on there, but I cut those off. So now it's a nice flat frame right here. Also, 
I've been doing a ton of work on this. It's pretty boring, so I didn't video it, but basically this used to be a dump trailer. So it had a hydraulic ram underneath there that was in the way. So I had to cut it off and it weighs like maybe a hundred, maybe close to 200 pounds. It's pretty heavy. Here it is right here in the scrap bin. So I, I can barely move it. Anyway, um, okay, so I am about to cut some square tubing because basically the rails on this, like the frame rails that this thing has, are right here and right here headed that way. And that's parallel with these frame rails, except it lands kind of, or the uh, frame rails from the bed land like right in between those two. So I'm gonna put in some uh, two by two tubing that goes across this way. And then we'll put like a little, uh, a little spacer underneath it because it needs to be about three to four inches tall. So I might actually have to do two pieces of two by two, we'll see. I'm just gonna start by using two by two to go across here, it'll help stiffen it up a lot too. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next thing you'll see is me cutting two by two. just so you guys know it's a blistering like 97 degrees out here very average summer day in Utah very hot and dry pretty miserable but we're getting crap done so that's all that matters all right I'm about to weld that bar right there well I might just tack it for now because it's easier to cut a tack than it is a weld it's the same idea as measure twice cut once but in this case it's tack once instead of weld twice. Uh, it's not a very good one. It'll roll off the tongue. So it's time to get the, the bed back there, test fit. Uh, once we do that, we can figure out if we need to add more height to these because we need the bed to sit like here above the, uh, above the tires so that there's room so it doesn't rub. And you go over 
some bumps and stuff. So we're gonna have to try and jimmy rig away to get this because if I just use these forks and slide it underneath it the way it is right now, I won't be able to um, set it down because I'll just be lifting it from these rails. Actually, I might be able to. We're gonna try that first. If that doesn't work, we'll figure something out. All right. Before I find a way to jimmy rig the bed over there, I'm gonna go get some water, cause it's hot. But my idea is to put a chain across from that hook to that hook. Yeah, it's as far as it goes <laughs> so far. I'll figure it out in a minute. What do you guys think? What's your flav favorite flavor of Gatorade? Flavor Flarner. All right, so during that little water break I took, I've been thinking about this. And I realized my idea is not gonna work. So, I have a worse idea. <laughs> But that's probably not going to work either. Actually, I don't know. Basically, my idea is we're going to put... Oh. No one needs safety glasses. Jeez. Alright. My idea is we're going to put some straps, hopefully strong enough to hold this, on, in those, like, hole things, and then some on the other side. And then we'll try and connect them in the middle, and I'll hang it from the hook forklift. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. All right, here goes attempt number one. Still about two inches low, so I'm gonna grab another piece of two inch tubing and we're gonna 
put it right between that piece of frame and that piece of tubing and it'll be great. All right, that is the end of this project. Thanks for watching. We know it looks a little ghetto, but it's functional. It's very beefy and it'll carry everything that we want. And yes, it is high up, but don't worry about that. We've got a forklift to carry the plates up on there and the uh, generator over there and the scrap bed and all that good stuff. So this is gonna be perfect for what we need. We've needed it for a long time. Lately, we've just been throwing it in the back of Tom's truck over there, just making it work. But anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next build. All right, it's our first big use of the trailer. Looks like it's gonna do great.